Hello and welcome to Cavaliers Corner. I'm here with head coach Dan Pfeiffer of the Walsh football team. And Dan, uh, we're getting ready to go down to Florida. It's a big trip for us. Uh, a lot of things going on with that trip. Uh, it, First of all, uh, they just kind of suffered through a hurricane and they're kind of flooded. Uh, but at the same time, uh, it's our first game ever against a NCAA Division One opponent. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's going to be interesting. The the stuff we've been dealing with this week when you're taking a team, you know, and flying mm -hmm. can get a little interesting. It's the first time I've done it, you know, as a whole team. So uh, you know, we've had some things that uh, we had to get fixed during the week and everything. We've kind of been planning for it, but there's just some things that popped up and. And this and that, and so we've, I think we got a pretty good handle on it, though, and we're ready to go. How do you approach uh, a game like this, or how are you approaching? Uh, uh, you just mentioned it's kind of the first time, uh, first time thing for you as well. Mm -hmm. uh, this has got to be a different prep, especially with uh, all the events going down in Florida right now. Yeah, for the most part, the week stays consistent. You know, it's the mm -hmm. same Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Nothing changes practice-wise. And it's going to get hectic is after Thursday. You know, we got the kids pack their stuff, and we're going to have a, you know, a, a box truck. You know, take the equipment down a day yeah. early, so there, you know, be some guys leaving that night and taking everything down. You know, and then the, the festivities really begin Friday morning. You know, is getting to the airport and getting everybody in and making sure they bring their driver's license yeah. and you know all that kind of stuff, and then getting on the plane, and then when you get there, you know, the big ordeal is you know making sure the bus is there to pick us up to get us to the hotel to eat lunch you know then get us to practice and we can do our walk through then you know back to the hotel and and dinner and that kind of stuff so we got it we got to organize in that and so now it's just a matter of executing it you know just like a game and, yeah. and making sure that we all get down there on and, and keep everything on time so um we got a plan and i think we're, we're pretty organized with it so i think we'll be okay now, last week against Saginaw Valley, suffered a loss to the Cardinals, a talented team up there. But what were some of the bright spots that you could pull away from that game? But defensively, I think we, we got better from week mm -hmm. one to week two, and that's what we were looking for. You know, we had four turnovers. You know, we had a fourth down stop. You know, we did some really good things defensively. I thought we played hard. Kids mm -hmm. were flying around. You know, we still had too many missed tackles. You know, we gave up, you know, four big plays, essentially, which led to three scores. You yeah. know, and, that, and that's what you can't have. And we talked about that in our – a team meeting, you know, is, you know, the offense makes a mistake and it's a seven yard loss. The defense yeah. makes mistakes and it's seven points. Yeah. You know, and so that's what we got to cut out is everybody doing their jobs and, and keeping the big plays to a minimum and then tackle. You know, we can't let, you know, a three yard play become a 12 yard play, you know, and let them move the chains. And so we got to get better there. But I thought they made big strides offensively. It was very disappointing. You know, I think we took a step back. I'm not sure why. You know, I mean, they didn't do anything different than what we were game planning for. Yeah. You know, we didn't play well, you know, at all. I told the team that it might be one of the worst performances I've seen, you know, in 20-some years of coaching offensively as a group, um, you know, what we did. And so we got to get better. We got to get back to what we do. And I told them it starts in practice. We didn't have a great week of practice offensively, and that showed on Saturday. Defense had a pretty good week of practice, and they played well on mm -hmm. Saturday. And so until we figure that out and buy into that, that, you know, we got to do the work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, that's going to be the product, you yeah. know, of what you put on Saturday. And so if they can figure that out and do that, I think we'll be okay. What are some of the things that uh, you've seen from Jacksonville on films thus far? You know, pretty standard defensively, so they're not doing anything crazy, you know, four-man front, run some quarters and do some different coverage things and that. You know, so offensively, it's good. You know, we, we can we can get out there and rep it this week and, and go out there and, and execute and work on that. Defensively is, is where, you know, they're going to cause some issues. They run the triple option. You know what I mean? And so it kind of takes what you do from a normal defense, you know what I mean? And we got to adjust a few things here and there, but basically it's going to make you disciplined. Everybody's got a job to do and all 11 got to do it. And if, yeah. if you don't, you know, they're, they're going to get a big play out of it. And so we, we got to hammer that this week and make sure that we do a good job with that. And, you know, of course, with any option team, you know, they're going to run the football and we got to stop the run and, and find ways to do that. And then, you know, not give up the big play because that's what option teams are knowing. You know, they're going to run it for mm -hmm. a quarter and a half and then try to hit you on a deep play action, you know what I mean? deep and so we got to be disciplined and know when that's coming and, and see it I mean and be ready for it so a little bit different week for us defensively from that standpoint but uh you know we we just got to go down there and, and play well and control what we can control which is us you know I mean if we I've, I've told them every game uh you know on Saturdays you know in our little you know uh, before the game speech kind of you know we got to win the effort and we got to play with great effort yeah. you know and I thought defensively we did that Saturday and they played pretty well you know the week before we were kind of spotted we did it for a little while but we couldn't sustain it if we can get both sides to do that you know, and special teams play with great effort I think we'll always have a chance so you know we'll, we'll see what happens again this Saturday well best of luck to you coming up this week I know it's a big trip and uh, definitely looking forward to it yeah thank you
That is Cavaliers Corner for week three. Uh, be sure to check out the live stats, and it should be streamed online as well on ESPN3. Uh, the game is kicks off at uh, 1 p.m. on Saturday. Uh, for head coach Dan Pfeiffer, I'm Logan Smith. Go Cavs!